Hello, folks. So the uh, big question is, where have I been? Well, I've been busy um, working the homestead um, work and dealing with uh, some personal issues, um, getting my head straight around a uh, fatal car accident that I witnessed. Um, just things that I got to deal with. Life goes on. Um, I've been taking a lot of notes and uh, thinking a lot. I have a lot of time to think. It's quiet out here. And um, I've been recording, but haven't had the time to uh, edit and render things and, and get them posted. And I've tried to manage my time a bit better so that I can do that and uh, get these videos out because I like doing it and it's uh, fun and we can poke fun while we're talking about some issues. Now, um, I'm going to generalize in my videos just as a forewarning. I'm not going to get on give you guys all perfect stats because I don't have them. I'm just going to point out some things that I think are important things to think about. Um, I'm also not going to get into politics. I think we're all sick of trying to figure out who did what. And personally, I think right now we should be focusing on what we need to do in our everyday lives to be safe and be prepared for things that could go wrong. And looking at how many things have happened in the last few years in ways of social and environmental disasters... Um, it's good to be prepared. Preparedness is only as extreme as you make it. I'm not going to be preaching guns and raining lead down on people who try to take my stuff. I'm not that kind of prepper. I more prepare for everyday stuff. Um, strong winds, flooding, that kind of thing. Um, having emergency packs and stuff like that. So, um, being prepared in that sense can alleviate a lot of stress for you and your family. Um, so, what do I prepare for, you ask? Um, being prepared in any sense to get yourself or your family to safety is prepping. And, um, so some of the things that you can look at is, uh, are, uh, the location, um, decide what is the most likely event to be applicable to where you're situated, uh, where you work and where you live. And, uh, what, uh, what season is it? Is it spring? Um, what's your location? Is it next to a tender dry forest, um, next to a river, um, next to an area that has historically environmental disasters like rivers or forest fires? Um, some areas, as we know in California and the interior in BC, um, are very prone to forest fires because of years of mismanaged forestry, to be honest. Um, so developing a plan to escape from that situation to, as some people call it, bug in or bug out. Now, if there's a forest fire, you're definitely not going to want to bug in. If there's a flood that's going to drown your house, you definitely don't want to bug in. Bugging out is going to be your best safety situ uh, scenario. So having an emergency pack ready will help you physically and mentally. Um, how much time are you willing to lose valuable time um, looking for your crap? Um, having a pack ready at your front door or in a box under your bed or in a closet or even in your vehicle um, can dramatically up your odds of survival in a bad situation. Uh, your preps, as we're going to call them, like an emergency pack, um, are just smart, bottom line. They're just smart. Um, if you truly want to prep, train yourself to anticipate 
um, every scenario you could possibly place yourself in. Um, for example, okay, I wrote this one out. Uh, you're stuck in a traffic jam, maybe in the dark. Um, lock your door. Have, if it's legal for you to carry pepper spray, have your pepper spray. Not in the back seat, not in your trunk. It's not going to do you any good back there. Um, don't park too close to the car in front of you. Um, you scope out uh, possible means to evac your position to get out of there and eliminate the chances of being trapped. Be observant of other people and your surroundings. This all essentially is prepping. Um, yeah, we could go into the extreme views um, people's misperception of prepping, but everyone should be doing it. It just, it's a no brainer. Um, how far you want to take your prepping is your call. Re remaining mentally calm without indulging in fruitless paranoia, being paranoid that, uh, things are going to happen to you all the time is not going to help your situation. Being prepared Having that in the back of your mind and your, your pack easily accessible, um, you don't need to be paranoid. Um, so that's really all I had for tonight, just to give you my perspective on prepping. You don't need to be extremists. You can be a, uh, a single mom or dad with kids. Um, having a plan to get to your kids, um, to get them to safety, um, having a relative like a grandma being able to pick them up should something happen. I mean, a, a creek could swell and you could be cut off from access to your kids while well, they're stuck at school wondering what the heck's going on. It's so easy for power systems to go down, um, especially in forested areas. Uh, during high winds or, or hail or heavy rains. Um, it's just, like I said before, it's a no-brainer. So that's all for tonight. Just a perspective on, on how I see prepping and what prepping is to me. So anyway, we will uh, see you in the next video. Like I said, I'm going to get as many up as I can as soon as possible. And until then, live healthy and live prepared.